Whether we can feel the immediate effects of what is happening above and around us or not, it's still happening and it's very visible. These transmissions from the sun permeates throughout our environments and all the way throughout every cell of our body. The electromagnetic photonic alchemical reaction has the potential to raise our consciousness depending on the individual, depending where we're at depending on so many things but many of us are experiencing this firsthand right now as the elusive red and blue kachina do their dance up there we see this foggy electromagnetic transmission I mean, we are electrical creatures after all. As the days go on, the blue and red and the mixture of it just increase. I'm starting to understand the red kachina more, I believe. Right here you see the mixture of purple. I think that's it. People just see the sun. Sometimes it appears yellowish, sometimes it appears white to them. Lately, we've been seeing the blue. And now people are starting to see the reds and the oranges and the rainbow that it's casting. Does this mean that the fifth world sun is everywhere? And again, is this new sun that we are seeing, this orange ball, is that Mercury? Either way, we see something going on around the sun and the moon. Here, I pulled this out of a random picture. And strangely enough, little Levin, my brother, sent me the same picture that he pulled from my video and said, did you see this? Speaking of the blue lady in the clouds, I see what he meant, but even more, I just couldn't believe that he pulled that same picture that I did. This has to be a spaceship. Is it the Kachina? Is it the red Kachina? Separately, I was able to pull this from the background of my pictures the other day. It was clear skies and somehow these showed up. I can't tell if it's a big huge mass behind there or if it's the reflection of something. At the same time, this object showed up, the same size as this blue moon that we've been seeing in front of the sun. And Lunabelle has captured it with her refractions. You can actually see it in her lens flares. They are here to oversee this frequency shift. It's really time to revisit what was said. That we would be brought up into the clouds with him and that we would be with him for the next thousand years. All day winter solstice, the sun shone blue and purple. You can see the transmissions all around. These raindrops fell. I felt like everything was so cleansing. I really believe that everything is being transformed at a cellular level. It's going to take time to integrate, and there's definitely much more to come. We are being divinely prepared. You can tell this is God. 
why would God have it any other way but to allow us to be prepared and to be a part in the way that this plays out. We truly don't receive any more than we can handle. Here is an awesome image of a raindrop with the sun captured inside of it. Really cool. You can clearly observe the star, our star, our sun. There's all this talk about it dying and this, that, and the other. That's not what I'm seeing. That's not what I'm experiencing. So I'm not really sure what all that distraction is about, to be honest with you. Even if that were the case, I know that God's got this covered. I know that something very divine is happening and that so many cycles are taking place right now. We are at the pinnacle of this transition. We are seriously entering the new golden age. There's just no doubt about it. There's no more denying it. Randomly, I wanted to remind everybody that on the Kronos channel, he displayed a picture from a book that he was reading, and I've shown this picture before, but the pyramids are receiving an inverted pyramid carrying a sun, or a star, or a ship. thought that was really interesting considering we did see that pyramid just floating over DC. Just a few days ago, I looked up and saw something near the moon. I'm working on portraying some captures of it, but when I saw Mr. MBB333 the other day, I noticed somebody else had captured something very similar to what I saw with my eyes and was not able to capture. So I will put the link below. And meanwhile, I kind of rendered some of these pictures a little bit more, tried to pull it out a little bit more, and I find it very interesting. And I find it, it feels like an individual 
it feels like something very powerful it feels like something that has the potential to end duality something that perfectly embodies both light and dark and justice and redemption for the sick and poor and oppressed and suppressed Hanging out, waiting, watching over, seeing where we're all at. And he said he would come back the same way that he left. It's almost like something within its own atmosphere bubble. I've seen that same bubble underneath the sun. I've had messages in the Gematria calculator that speak of the sun and the moon being fixed positions in the waters. It's kind of hard to explain, but it makes sense. And being that they are somewhat from the same source, I'm understanding that it's a portal and that interdimensional beings can enter and reside in, near, and around it. I've also been seeing incredible rainbows. So has my boyfriend. This is his stuff from work that he's so nice to capture for me every day. He definitely sees the shift as well and feels it. Some people just have a really peaceful way about them. But this was incredible. We both captured this rainbow completely opposite sides of town, at least 30 miles apart. At the same time, I also spoke to Alfred in the Netherlands, and he's also been capturing amazing rainbows over the past several days. I've seen messages that rainbows are from the Pleiadians. This was a capture from two nights ago on the 20th, and we had the blue stripes. I couldn't tell if it was like ships passing over but this was as the sun was setting and just all above and around we had deep blues and purples and of course the beautiful bright orange light source here's the rainbows again and this was on solstice that was yesterday I mean, clearly something divine is taking place all around the world.
this also was yesterday on the 21st and again we can see the foggy transmissions and the very purple sun Here's just one small example of dozens that I've captured. I mean, clearly that little blue object is separate from the sun. It does seem to be playing a part in the way the light shines. It seems to be a part of possibly the sun dog and more. It was extremely windy all day yesterday and the day before. I mean, hurricane winds. I couldn't believe it. I think the winds were at least 50 and upwards, 50 miles an hour. It was incredible. Welcome back. There's been sightings of cubes and triangles over DC and all kinds of really cool stuff. And I think that, you know, these could be holding a king of sorts. Yes, I think Jesus is an alien and I think he's here. I don't believe it's Satan. I don't believe that it's some alien king that's not good. I think it's just not what we ever expected but i think it's time to wrap our minds around it because he's here and he's trying to let us know but we really need to wake up we need to wake up even more i see some sort of a rectangular I don't know how to explain it. Maybe portal, door, behind the sun. You can see it here. 
I've seen messages. He's opened a door that no man can close. I understand that that's scripture, but I believe that that's actually taking place right now as well. And while I believe that this stuff is transforming us and I'm not sure that we're really going anywhere, I think rapture is taking place right here, right now, all around us. Now what is this? Why is it showing up this way now when I add contrast to both the sun and the moon? I mean, honestly, it looks like a computer program or a video game. And then I found this in the moon refraction. That is the lens flare of the moon. Very interesting stuff. We just have to look closely sometimes. Anyhow, peace and love. Peace of God to everyone.